let's um, print some models with Cheat2Box. We're going to slice the model and get it ready to printing. I've opened up Cheat2Box and the first thing I want to bring to your attention are the printers that I have down here on the bottom. I have a four printers down here. However, if you don't see your printer, you could always hit plus and add the printer that you have. They have quite a few of them. And uh, if you don't see it here, you probably have to get the parameters from your from the printer manufacturer. Here you see I'm using several frozen printers. I also have a printer here, the iPhone printer, which wasn't on this list, but I had to get a plug-in from the manufacturer and it was pretty simple to import. In any case, first thing that we want to do is we are going to be importing our models. So I have some test models that I'd like to drag in okay? and just click and hit control and we'll drag all these models over to our build plate. So this is our build plate. Um, I have some dies for some crowns that we'll be making, that we'll be milling. And I also have our models that we need to add supports and then get them ready for printing, okay? Let's go to slice settings. Again here, we are gonna be using an any cubic resin. And here you'll see plenty of more resins if you don't see your resin here, you could always get the resin profile and import it using these icons over here from your desktop or from any place that you have that data, okay? In any case, we're gonna be using our AnyCubic Light Beige. I'll click Apply, and now I wanna orient these models so we can print them uh, without any interference. But you see that here I am sticking over the build plate and here too, so let's, let's orient this in such a way that we can print it. And you see, of course, we have a collision here. So let's move it out of the way. And what I'm also gonna do, I want this flat on the build plate. So let me hit rotate again, flatten by face, click on the part that you want flat onto the build plate. And there you go. Now it's back on the build plate. Of course, it's colliding with a one of the dies I have. So let's move this die over. Let's move this die over. We could set up these dies to print within the horseshoe of the lower model. And there we go. Okay, so now we have everything pretty much on our build plate without any interferences. I am now going to highlight all of these and I am gonna add my supports. Are not gonna be heavy, not gonna be light. I'm gonna put it in the middle. And I want to see here, support angle. This is all good, this is all good. Okay, they're gonna be five millimeter supports. And we'll hit auto support. Since we are gonna be putting some dies in, one of the things I don't wanna do is I don't wanna have any interferences of my supports where my dies are gonna seep. So I'm gonna highlight these and remove them. We could add supports if we need to or remove them, but we don't need all these supports in this area here. Let's subtract those out. We got one more here that I gotta take out. Subtract that out. All right. Now, don't worry about this here. It's extending beyond my, my supports, extend a little bit beyond the build plate the support raft, but that doesn't matter. That's quite all right. Now that we got the supports where we want them, toggle over to, to here, and we're going to double check and make sure we have our right machine. We're gonna be using the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS, and now we're gonna slice. Model exceeds building platform, whether to continue, yes, we're gonna continue. And we are going to save it you see it's going to take about two hours and 25 minutes for this to print. We're going to save it and we're going to save this as our test print. And it is going to save. By the way, this is also, we're going to save this in our test files here. So this will be in the folder where we dragged the files. Notice that this saves as a PRZ file. I would imagine that it stands for frozen not the CTB file that Cheat2Box usually saves it. It saves it as a PRZ file. And we are going to save it. 
before I close out of the program, I want to make sure that I find the file and that it's ready for printing. Saving, saving, saving. go there's our print that is ready to go into the frozen printer and printing <laughs>